By all measurements, Tinkham Veal II lived a remarkable, accomplished life. Yet he never forgot his beginnings. I'm interested in helping people out because I learned it from all branches of my family. I give to everything you could think of in this whole area now, and I'm so happy to do that. Tinkham Veal II was a respected entrepreneur, inventor, philanthropist, and a venerable friend to Case Western Reserve University. Tink came to the Case Institute of Technology nearly 80 years ago from the oil fields of Kansas. I came from Topeka, Kansas, so I wanted to first go to a school that had engineering, and somebody told, us, told me about this little school down in Cleveland. They had this nice little engineering school, so I applied. I got in my little Ford car and came right down to Case. An avid athlete, Tink thrived throughout his undergraduate years, pursuing a degree in mechanical engineering in 1937. During that time, he wrote a thesis about the possibility of air conditioning automobiles. Some people thought the idea so absurd, they called him a crazy kid. In that area, as in so many others, Tink was ahead of his time. In 1960, he joined with a handful of trusted colleagues to create Alco Standard Corporation. By 1996, Alco had 36,000 employees and annual sales of $10 billion. Throughout all those years and all of that success, Tink never forgot his alma mater. I've given to Case every year since I graduated in 1937. I was so honored that Case helped me get an education and did things for me and so forth. But I'm very honored to try to help out. Tink's constant generosity was punctuated by a series of leadership gifts, including a $20 million commitment through the Veal Foundation to help create a new gathering space in the heart of the campus. The Tink and Veal University Center will be a place where students will share meals, conversation, and ideas. You're gonna help everybody, doesn't matter it's eight colleges you have, doesn't matter if they're doctors or lawyers or dentists or engineers, that they all get together and get to know each other. It's just going to be great. This is uh, a commemorative shirt to uh, commemorate this magnificent donation signed by all the students in attendance. Oh, man. Thank you so much. It's kind of like that big wish that, you know, you have when you're a little kid. Well, for us, it's, it's like it's been that big wish. And you now we're the little kids, and like this is just phenomenal. Tink's philanthropic footprint envelops the Case Western Reserve campus. Students benefit from academic programs supported by Tink, and his previous leadership gifts helped create the Veal Convocation Recreation and Athletic Center. In 2011, the university presented Tink with the President's Award for Visionary Achievement. For all that you have done in the world, in the nation, and in this community, it is my honor to announce that you, Tinkham Veal II, are the 2011 recipient of the President's Award for Visionary Achievement. It is also my honor to present you with this stole. What? Oh, how nice. How beautiful. And here is the plaque. Oh my goodness, isn't this wonderful? Isn't that nice? In May of this year, Tink Veal returned to his alma mater for the groundbreaking ceremonies of the $50 million Tinkham Veal University Center. Tink himself joined several other major donors in lifting ceremonial shovels. Tinkham Veal's legacy will live on in the 82,000 square foot architectural icon slated to open in 2014. The University Center will bear Tinkham Veal's name to forever remind us of his enormous generosity and heart. <laughs>